I have a super simple salad for you. It's turnip salad. Let's get started. So like I said, this recipe is super easy, really fast to put together. The longest part takes with the peeling of the apples and the turnips. Now, I'm using turnips because I don't know about you, but you know, every once in a while, I'll go to the grocery store and I'll be like, oh, turnips, that's great. No idea what to do with them. Now I know what to do with them. Here's one recipe that I really, really like. So I've got all my ingredients here. There are not a lot of them, but they're tasty when put together. So as you can see, I've already started. I've got uh, my turnips in here in the blender and I'm shredding them up. Um, I put in three of those. I'm doing a small salad. Um, if you want to do a larger one, then double the recipe, which you can find on the website, which will have a link down below. So I'm just gonna cut up the apple and add that in there as well. Shred those up. Okay, those are done, ready to go. I'm gonna transfer them to a bowl. And then we're gonna move on to the next part. All right, so I've transferred my apple and my turnip and my carrots uh, into a large bowl just to make it easier to mix everything together. So first thing I'm going to do now that it's in the bowl is to add some lemon juice. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of lemon juice to that. And then stir this up a little bit using my tongs. And uh, then we're gonna do like the dressing part. This is, this is the great part. So this is really, really quite nice. Um, all right, let's put that aside for a second. I'm gonna add in my onions, the parsley, and because I like a little heat, some shredded um, ginger. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Okay, put that aside for a second. Let me just get the lemon juice all incorporated. If that, oh, <laughs> that smells good. Nice. Okay, next, use my spoon and I'm going to mix together some olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and here's the cool part, maple syrup. Oh, you know, you know. So, let's quickly stir this together. Yeah. <laughs> now, you don't have to use olive oil. You can use uh, sunflower or something that's got uh, less of a flavor to it. I don't know, I just kind of like the taste of olive oil, so I'm going with that. All right, that's all nicely mixed up. See? And this is it, you guys. So this is actually gonna sit in the fridge, getting nice and cold and just soaking up all the juices. This is gonna sit in there for at least a half hour. An hour would be even better before you serve. But I mean, if you can't wait, you can't wait, right? So, all right, this is looking good. I am going to cover this, put it in the fridge, and uh, I'll be back when it's ready. But before you do that, don't forget your black pepper <laughs> and your salt. All right, add those in. That is uh, what you need to do next. So it's to your taste. There's no real measurement for the black pepper and the salt. Totally up to you. Give it a try before you put it in the fridge. And then, uh, yeah, then that'll be it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Woo! Just got the ginger. Yeah, that's good. I really hope you give this a try. It's like fresh and it's got a bit of a punch from the ginger. It's super crunchy and I love the combination. Even that maple syrup, trust me on the maple syrup. It's so good. Give it a go, give it a go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, cause it totally helps out the channel, trust me. And leave a comment downstairs. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you always know when I upload new videos, just like this one. And of course, I got your back. You need more stuff, you need more food, I got you covered right over here. Two more recipes that I think you would love to check out. All right, guys, remember to love your food, love your life, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.